Okay, just for shits and giggles, I thought I'd fire up the heat pump. Uh, it is summertime. A little cooler today, though, and I've been curious to see what the heat pump would look like under uh, thermal. Um, pretty much as I would expect, uh, there's the condenser down there. Um, if you ever had a refrigerator before, you can probably recognize that. I just ripped apart a refrigerator and tore the condenser out of it. And uh, <laughs> it's not the most effective, well, it's an effective heat pump. I mean, it kept my place warm all winter long, even in the coldest days. Um, not the highest COP, but it is better than uh, resistive. Um, anyway, uh, it's been running for about 10 minutes now, so you can see the compressor's warmed up there. Um, these lines aren't insulated at all. Um, see the thermostat down there with the strap on it. Um, the reflection of the compressor there. Um, the, the suction line is, uh, what did I got? 3 16 and the, excuse me, suction, suction line is 3 8 and the uh, discharge line is is uh, 3 16 but uh, you can't really tell much difference there uh, they're both nice shiny copper new um, but you can see down there in the hole on the floor where they go through the dark spot in the left uh, the cool wood and the brighter spot in the right the warmer wood on the two lines there so uh, not a whole lot to really talk about there uh, I'm gonna run outside here ah, da -da. A little cloudy today, but still a nice, cool sky. Cell phone tower there. Um, it is warm, but it's not really any warmer than the trees. Uh, there's a transformer over there that's a little toasty. Uh, we're only up to about halfway frost line on the, uh, on the evaporator out here. Uh, it hasn't been running very long. It, it'd be much more interesting to see this thing once it's been running for a few hours, like on a cold day. Uh, I know that I'll get some condensation and stuff on the walls there. Um, this is actually kind of cool because this is uh, uh, corrugated steel and it's painted it's a tan color and it has no optical reflection whatsoever. Uh, but in infrared, you can see me. Oop, got my hand in there. Every, <laughs> so uh, it's kind of neat to see stuff like that. Uh, the bumper on my truck is pretty scuffed up, and uh, you get somewhat of a reflection in uh, infrared. It's it's almost perfect. Even the wheels on my truck, which are very yeah, not so good. It's not so good. But um, anyhow, um, I thought uh, screwing up here. I thought it would be really neat uh, to run this thing for a few hours. I'm not going to do that now. Um, I've always been curious to see how much heat it would actually pull out of, like, say, the hot you know, engine of my truck or the tires there or something like that. But I never, uh, I never painted this thing black. I should do that this summer. See the top half there is got some reflection of the ground, the warm ground in the truck, and then because it's corrugated, got different angles there, and then the rest of it's probably just the the sky. So anyway, um, one more thing I wanted to to show. Um, this is my monitor top here. Can't see it very well because the temperature is pretty well even. But I thought I'd go ahead and fire it up. See how long it takes for the camera to register. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna do this in my buddy's fridge here soon. He's got a restored monitor top. I think it's a like a 36 or 37. That's the 35 CK to B16. It's a pretty common model. Uh, you see this bright spot down here. It's, it's probably just a reflection, I suspect. Uh, there is a uh, condenser line. You know what? It might not be. I don't know. Because there is a condenser line that actually runs um, after the... Yeah, yeah, right, right there. You can see it. Um, I think it prevents condensation at the seal down here. Yeah, that is it. I didn't see that before. Cool. Yeah, it makes a full lap around there because this top is removable. Um, probably, to, like I said, prevent uh, condensation and stuff forming in there to dry everything out. So it's probably just a, like a subcooling line. Uh, I think it's the very last run. Yeah, I didn't see that there before. That's really cool. You've only been running here for, what, a minute? 
Very neat. Very, very neat. So we're at a point now where you can just barely tell, feel any heat there. Uh, the compressor top is still cold. Huh. Cool. Uh, this thing is still on low on charge, uh, but you can see the refrigerant line in the back of the evaporator. Um, just the right wall will get cold. Uh, I think maybe the ice tray, the center tray there, might chill a little bit, but it's got propane in it, original charger with sulfur dioxide. The, uh, somebody moved it and broke the lines, snapped the, uh, the 3 sixteenths line coming out of the high side float. See right there in the high side float, actually right about where it gets cold is where I had to cut it. Um, because even though I repaired the line down there, the 316 line, that, that bend, um, the, uh, the orifice was plugged. So I had to clean it out with a little file. But uh, yeah, right there where it starts to chill, that's where um, it gets dark. And that's about where the orifice is. So I had to make a spin a copper adapter on there. I think I made another video about it, but yeah, so. I also found I sniffed out, because uh, I do have propane and I have a hydrocarbon sniffer. I sniffed out the uh, culprit leaker, which is just the service valve right there. So I'll have to tear that apart sometime. I'd like to get the thing, uh, I'd like you to get a good charge in it and let it sit for a few months and see if it holds. So yeah, that's really neat. Huh. Well, you, uh, monitor top nuts out there would probably love to have a toy like this. It'll cost you, but I encourage you. And here's our 47, 48, 48 GE under counter model. It's a friend of mine's. I do a little repair on it. So it seems to be holding. It's been a few weeks, about three weeks since I fixed this suction line up there on top of the, the header. Nifty, nifty, nifty. I'm going to screw the light bulb in there. A wasteful, wasteful light bulb. Not drop it. See if you can tell when it comes on. There. I did another video on this, so not too much of an interest there. And I'll spin outside and check out the evaporator on the pump once more. Nothing uh, really changed too much. Yeah. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, you can feel some heat there. If I had a little larger charge in it, I think. Uh, It'd probably back up in the condenser a little more and uh, heat up. Yeah, you can even tell the top loops are a little bit warmer, I think. Kind of a matter of opinion, to some degree. I was cleaning a little bit earlier, just wiping some of the dust and dirt with a little bit of blue paint that was on the side there, and a little uh, alcohol. And that, uh, tissue to go. damn heat pump uh, last fall and just slapped it together it was pretty cheap and I didn't put a lot of thought into it the evaporator too you know, it took some work, but, um, you know, as far as just throwing it together it held charge really well and a few uh, a few flare fittings but all in all, I'm pretty happy that that thing is propane just like everything else that I built so all right well, 
Do a little nostril breathe here. 